A popular restaurant in Venice remains closed a week and a half after Hurricane Hermine. The storm caused water from the Mayaka River to flood the Snookhaven parking lot. As the owners work to make repairs, the county is working on adding a kayak and canoe launch. And a few miles away, the county is also moving forward with transforming Senator Bob Johnson's landing into a park. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley has the details. Snookhaven is still drying out from weeks of heavy rain. Right now, the park and the restaurant are closed as Sarasota County does some major improvements. They're also shoring up some of the, the um, shoreline, putting in some new vegetation, kind of to help with the erosion of the parking lot. During heavy storms like Hurricane Hermine, the Mayaka River rises into the Snookhaven parking lot. The flooding stayed around long enough, the restaurant had to cancel their big Labor Day party. That was more of a just general safety. We didn't want people coming out and, you know, trying to take their car somewhere they shouldn't, uh, trying to walk somewhere they shouldn't. While the restaurant is owned by Justin Pachota and his family, the property and adjoining park is owned by Sarasota County, who happens to be in charge of the new dock and canoe and kayak launch. Just down the river is what will soon be the Bob Johnson Landing, another canoe and kayak launch. That uh, is going to offer picnic opportunities as well as launching opportunities. As well as a new bathroom facility. Rob Ledoux, who works in parks planning, says this is all a part of an effort to increase ecotourism. Sarasota County does want to encourage ecotourism. And I think this is an excellent opportunity for the city of Northport as well as the city of Venice as part of that. Um, the park is conveniently located between those two municipalities. Back at Snook Haven, there's one more major improvement, the construction of a whole new boat dock. It's the old Decker property. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a house with a boat ramp uh, that they're going to renovate to make it so that it's you know very usable for the public. As for the reopening out here at Snook Haven, because there's no official date set yet, Justin Pachota says they will continue to update everyone on their Facebook page. Reporting from Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.